And now to discuss this further, I'm joined by political analyst and advocate for good governance, Comrade Henry Chinedu. Comrade Henry, you're welcome. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. I want to go right to it and ask how you think um, Governor Fubara's vow to punish culprits of the recent violence, uh, violent attacks is going to impact the very delicate political stability of River State. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, to start with, uh, I would like to commend the governor for setting up the Commission of Inquiry to investigate what happened yesterday, which was an unfortunate incident and it leaves a very bad precedent for our country. I claim that we're practicing uh, constitutional democracy in this country. Um, but I think uh, the issue shouldn't be about setting up of a commission of inquiry because we've had cases of uh, these uh, commissions of inquiry being set up by some successive government. But at the end of the day, when uh, the enablers of these or of these corporates are people that have the say at the end of the day, or the people that the fake so happen in this country, then it becomes something that calls for question. What am I trying to say? Yes, Governor Fugara has set up the commission of inquiry, but. How are we sure at the end of the day that these culprits, these perpetrators of these acts, will be held accountable for their evil, uh, evil acts? Because we know very well that this bypass has to move the things that you And that should be our main concern, not just the bypass. Area. And they will stand to fight to finish, to make sure that their, uh, uh, to their bypass don't get punished at the end of the day. So I think our most concern shouldn't be about setting up of this inquiry, because you and I know very well that the governors of this country doesn't have any say when it has to do with the security architecture of this country. They don't command, they don't have anything. And that's why we talk about the state police. You have people talk about, say against it, that the state police should not be encouraged, should not be enacted. But I think with all these things that have been happening, that have been unraveled in different states, I think it's calls for, uh, for, for a round table discussion about how our security architecture should be rearranged. Because currently, currently, I must say the fact, uh, we are in a situation whereby uh, we, we dances with the powers that be, the nebulas up there, we have the utmost power to do whatever he or she wishes. So what we are seeing in River State today is impunity, 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 which calls for serious, serious questions. So I think uh, I will wait to see what happens at the end of the day, but if so be it, if we are to show off what we are doing in this country, I think uh, the perpetrators of this act are known. They are known. Most of them are indigenous of River State. So they should be made to face the full weight of the law at the end of the day. And we wish and we see ways to see, 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 see what something happens. A quote from you is that the perpetrators are known. But before, or rather after the elections and before the swearing in, there were comments that were made by well the, uh, the serving FCT minister, Nielsen Wike. And in a quote, he said that Fubara should note that he doesn't have a monopoly of violence. So the question now, looking back in hindsight, how implicative is that statement now, looking at this attack? Oh, when you look at the, uh, with due respect to the Minister of FCT, talking about uh, who and who has monopoly or who doesn't have monopoly of violence, uh, it's cause for more laugh and then it's very quite laughable because uh, we and I know that we are in this country, we know the kind of person he is, his antecedent has uh, spoke back about uh, the way he did things. His very nature, uh, with due respect. Um, in Fubara, we know uh, the little we've known him uh, within the world space of one year plus, he's not a violent man. Uh, he's not a violent man. So I think uh, Nike, being the FCT minister, should call his own boys to order. Uh, because nobody, nobody, nobody has a monopoly of violence, just like he said, and it will neither profit him nor the governor at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, those who suffer all these things are the masses, the citizens of River State. So I think the two gravitators, the two emperors who are fighting for their, for their survival, because as well as I know, this is a survival of the fittest. Both emperors are trying to fight for their own survival, trying to clean their own power group. So I think so both of them should sit down together and talk things out and provide solution to all these ringing challenges happening in the university. Because at the end of the day, uh, most of you, as a student of uh, politics, uh, these things are leaving a very bad precedent for our upcoming official leaders in this country. Let's talk about CP Mustafa now. He's been deployed to River State and he's uh, assumed office right now. What do you think this is going to tell for the state uh, moving forward when it comes to security? Um, uh, when I saw the news about CP, uh, CP Mustafa being uh, appointed to, uh, to River State, uh, two things came to my mind. First, yeah, we congratulate him for being appointed to, uh, as River State's Commissioner of Police. 
But secondly, um, on, on what I, what ideology, what information was he giving? On what purpose was he sent to River State? Because uh, as much as I know, River State is one of the states that within a space of one year, you have more than three or four commissioners of police. Which is the cause for alarm. Which is the cause for alarm. And what people are saying in all these things is that any commission of police that was being appointed in River State that tries to abide by the ethics of his or profession gets removed much quicker than we should expect. So at the end of the day, uh, we should be thinking of or we should be more concerned about what he's coming to do uh, in River State. Uh, more, more than just being appointed as commissioner of privacy, because we never can tell. Maybe at the end of the day, or before this time next month, he might get a uh, uh, change again, just as we have been witnessing before now. So I think another thing again is that, that the commissioner of police should know very well that uh, in the kind of state he, he has been appointed into. And another thing is that he should also work with the governor. Uh, the governor is the chief security officer of the, you know, security officer of the state, even though you don't have any control over any security, uh, security agencies in, the, in this country. But I think you should work with the government. And seeing the kind of nation, the kind of man he is, as much as I've known, uh, like I said before now, he's a non-violent government, as much as I know, uh, compared with uh, uh, the, the, his predecessor uh, and others. So I think you should be able to work with the governor to be able to provide a solution to these security, security issues in, in, in River State. Uh, at the end of the day, let all all the graduates be able to put this together and then move the state forward. So I must uh, uh, congratulate him for being appointed as the commissioner, but then we we'll wait to see what exactly is coming to do in the state. And with that, we will see that. Well, I hear you there regarding working with the governor in reference to uh, CP Mustafa there, but then again, what specific measures could be taken to make sure that all these actors, the state and non-state actors, and also the stakeholders can collaborate successfully? The thing is that we must be able to tell ourselves the truth that the issues in river states are not perfect. The perpetrators of those acts in river states are not perfect. So if we can be able to tell ourselves the truth, call themselves to get out these gladiators, like I always talk about the political gladiators in river states, if they can be able to tell themselves the truth, know that the river states that are trying to destroy today will affect them tomorrow, even their future offspring tomorrow. If they can be able to come to, together with the coordination of the security agencies to provide solution to the real issues, I believe that at the end of the day, there will be peace in River State. And another thing is this, I think the, the, the president, the commander in chief of this country should be also be up and doing and also call the security agencies uh, uh, to, to do the needful. Because when it still looks as if uh, some people uh, are, are not are demigods, that don't need to be questioned and don't need to be called to, because at the end of the day, you find out that even the CP, they end up calling some, some of these emperors, I say, some of these emperors to proper solution to the human issues, and they may not even uh, hit the answer the call. At the end of the day, you ask yourself, who is feeling who in this, in this country? Who is feeling who? Uh, so I think the most important thing is the graduators, because you and I know very well that the issues in universities are not communal clashes. So we can't say that this has to do with some, uh, some youths or some village uh, against village and all these things. Uh, so we, it all boils out on the graduators in River State, which have to come together and then think about the, 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 the betterment of River State. I mean, that should be their main paramount before power. Because all these things we are doing here, as the student of politics, are, are like I told you before, even the last one in the house knows what is happening in River State. And this creates some mentality in their head that once you leave, you should be able to put, and once nobody's uh, dancing to your tune, you should be able to, you know, create chaos in the, in the, in the, in the state. So I think the main thing boils on the political graduates to be able to come together and prove a solution. They should be able to come together and agree on the common ground that peace should be the most paramount prim thing to be to have an option in the rural state. I think with that, all these issues will, will die off. I believe so. Well, thank you very much, Shinedu. Your use of the words gladiators and emperors makes it look like a leaf from the book Rome. But thank you very much. We hope to come to you next time for more. Thank you very much.